Hey guys, it's Jackson here from Titanic Games, and today we're going to be looking at um, creating kind of a patrol AI, really simple patrol AI. So, um, with that, let's just get started right away. So, uh, quickly, if you remember from the last video, we kind of set up this little um, AI state, right, and we can um, do different events uh, based on whatever his state is, and you know, we can set his state by clicking on him and setting it in the default. So, you know, if we set it to Rome. Um, in play, he's just gonna roam around, find some random points. Um, if we set it to chase player, he will chase us. And then, you know, we could do something after he catches us, I guess, if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, so we're actually gonna look at now creating this patrol, right? Because currently, patrol does nothing. Um, so let's go ahead and open our AI character, right? let's go ahead and scroll down and we're going to create a new event so let's right click and say custom event and we're going to call this um, I guess AI no not AI sorry patrol okay and we can take this same movement stuff right here just the self and the AI move to and control C control V to paste it um, connect this up just like so and now um, we need to specify um, a destination to move to or a target actor to move to. So we're actually going to be using this target actor, okay? And we're going to be um, using something called a target point, all right? So that's kind of a, a thing in Unreal. You can place it in the world, and it just serves as kind of like a reference. Um, it's not actually visual. Um, let me show you it actually right now. If we go over to the modes and all classes, we can type in target point. We can find it here, and we can drag it into the level. All right, and see, it's just kind of this little target thing um, that shows up. Uh, so that's what we'll be using as our target points for uh, telling our AI where to patrol between. Okay, um, so I'll just delete it for now, but we'll come back to that. Okay, so back in our AI character, let's go over to variables. And we're going to add a variable. And this is going to be called uh, target point um, one. And we'll change the variable type to a target point. I'm not typing. To a target point. Okay, so target point reference. And we'll make it public. Okay, very important to make it public. Um, next, uh, on success, right, we'll add a little delay so that our, you know, AI kind of stops and just, you know, chills out a little bit. You know, he patrols the area, you know, kind of uh, checks out what's up. Um, anyways. So we'll drag off, say delay, and we'll set this to maybe three seconds. Then off of completed, we will do another AI move to, right? And the same, you know, the pawn is still going to be our self. Okay. And then after this, on success again, we'll say a uh, delay, oops, a delay. All right, and again for three seconds. Okay, and then finally we will call our patrol event again. So patrol. There we go. Now for now we need to you know do the target actors, right? The points that we want to move to. Um, so we created this target point for the first one, right? So we can drag this in and connect it. Uh, now for the second one, we are simply going to uh, right click and duplicate this, and we'll call this target point two. Right, and then we'll drag him out here, hook him up. All right, but now since they're public, right, we can actually tell the AI in the editor which points to move between. So we'll compile this really quick. Uh, go back out to the editor. Okay, and let's let's add those target points. So in the all classes, we'll type uh, target point. Let's drag this out, and I'll put one right here. Okay, uh, and then the other one. Let's go ahead and put it way up here. Okay, so we'll drag another one out. So there we go. So we've got two target points. Now, um, what we can do is click on our guy, right? And since we made those public, they are now under this defaults uh, tab. So um, we can for uh, for target point one, we can click the drop down and choose which target point we want to go to, right? Or um, you can click this little uh, eyedropper and then select it from the level. Okay, so target point one. Um, it's going to be a little counterintuitive here, but I'm actually going to select this one way up here, uh, just so he starts running away first. 
uh, and then target point two just to show you the other way you know you can select it like that okay so now um, since he is set to patrol mode okay uh, we want to make sure back in our AI character that for patrol we call that patrol event okay all right there we go so now everything should be set up so if we hit play he's going to run up to that target right he's gonna wait for three seconds then once he's satisfied you know he's gonna run back down over to to here make sure no bad guys are over here and then he's gonna keep on doing his thing alright so that's just gonna keep running over and over and over um, and you know you can do kind of the same thing um, if you want even more target points you know you just basically take this little chunk of code and just do it again you know do it again so you could probably turn this into a function or I guess actually you probably couldn't because you can't have a delay inside of a function um, but you know you could basically just uh, take this and copy and paste it for however many target points you want and then you know just add another variable um, uh, yeah that's that's one way you could do it um, I guess another way you could just create an array of target points so I'll just maybe do that really quick um, targets um, and then sorry over in the details you know click the array to make it an array right again make that public and then for each one of these um, you could take this and maybe say get and then get its index right and just kind of increment it each time um, for you know increment it every time you uh, you go through the the AI move to right um, you know and then it would plug in like that uh, but anyways that's kind of the basics of you know setting up a patrol kind of AI <laughs> um, yeah, you know, if you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. Um, in the next video, we'll kind of look at um, kind of switching between these states. Um, or maybe even uh, doing some stuff with this pawn sensing, like on C pawn or on hear noise. Um, yeah, I think we might do that, actually. Uh, so, anyways, uh, stay tuned for more, you know, cool AI stuff. And uh, if you like the video, like or subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.